Hi, I'm Ben from The Things Industries, and today I'm going to show you how to connect a multi-tech AEP router uh, to the Things stack or the Things Enterprise stack. So, the first thing we want to do is log into the console. Here I'm logged into uh, the Things Enterprise stack, and to add a gateway, we're going to go to the Gateways tab, and then we're going to click the Add Gateway button here. So, I'm going to give my gateway a name, a unique identifier. I'll call it Ben Multitech. And then the gateway EUI, um, I have copied and pasted. You can um, get that from your gateway packaging. And you can give it a name if you want. Ben's gateway. And a description so you can remember what it is. Um, but those, those fields are optional. And um, you can also add attributes to the gateway and you can make it public so that in the future the location of the gateway can be shared. Then down here in LoRaWAN options we want to choose the frequency plan that's relevant for the location we're in. So I'm going to use the Europe 868 um, with SF9 and RX2. And I want duty cycle enforced and that's it. Everything looks good so I can go ahead and hit create gateway. And now the Things Enterprise stack is ready to um, talk to my gateway, but I have to go and configure the gateway to get it to talk to the Things stack. So we're going to go over to the gateway uh, configuration page, hit the IP address of your gateway that you have connected to the same uh, network as you're on. Go ahead and log in. And... Um, every gateway is a little bit different, but um, the steps are basically the same. We want to go to the LoRaWAN configuration page on this gateway. And in this case, I want to enable packet forwarder mode. And then we want to configure the channel plan to be the same as uh, the Things ent Enterprise stack. And um, everything else looks, the sa looks right. Um, we just want to make sure that we have the correct gateway server address and you can actually go into the uh, console here and in the gateway page you can copy the um, network server address which we're going to then give to the gateway and um, by default your upstream and downstream ports are going to be 1700 um, so it looks like everything is configured correctly here and then I want to go ahead and submit that and then save and apply and that's going to apply the changes on the gateway. And once that's finished, we can go over to the Things Enterprise stack. And pretty soon here, let's refresh to make sure that this is working. So if we check LoRaWAN here, we should see that the packet forwarder is running on the gateway. And then in the Things Enterprise stack, um, if I refresh the gateway status, I can see, yeah, the gateway is connected and I'm receiving gateway status messages. So that's it. Um, I hope this was helpful. Thanks for watching.